Hey, what's good? It's Iconic, and we are in the world of DC Universe Online. You know, I took a break from this game, but and deleted my my, my main character, and I kind of regret it. I know there's a character restore, but you know, I ain't trying to spend fifteen dollars just to get my character back. And you're probably wondering well dude you're gonna be paying for legendary it's gonna be fifteen dollars a month anyways mine is what just I, I know but i don't got money like that you feel me but uh this is just temporary temporary temporarily for now i just want to you know know where the game goes and give to give back to the community so uh I, i'm calling this an advanced walkthrough maybe you know some of you guys who are no, I wouldn't say new but like noob to the game you don't really have to be new to the game to be a noob if, you, if you're not good you're new so um, I'm just gonna you know trying to ground up skill points and you know finish feats and do what you have to do you know and not move on really quick to the game you know it's in breakdown a, a really close uh, really like you know you're not really rushing through the game getting things done that are supposed to be done you know get the most out of it before you move on to the next and yeah that's what I'm planning on you know getting accomplished so I'm guessing I'm gonna call it advance advance on advance walkthrough yeah <laughs> I'm just gonna call it that for now so my character is a villain um, my mentor is the Joker. I'm my power is mental, and I have, as you saw, a rifle for a weapon. And you're probably wondering what my character is inspired by. Well, I try to, you know, be as original as I can. I don't really like to <laughs> bite off other, you know, characters that are part in any any other universe, regardless. Even though if this is not the a Marvel Universe or a Dragon Ball Z or anime whatever universe I'm not gonna bite off different characters cuz I don't know not really I, I'll probably borrow I, I borrow ideas but not really uh, you know not really my thing just to copy something and replicate it or yeah cuz you can't actually duplicate duplicate it cuz you, you can there's no way you can never be as great as them the original you know replica of it or not replica but the original thing so yeah sorry and i just went with the red scheme you're probably wondering why red red white and like a grayish i didn't want to go i didn't want to go all the way black i, I kind of want to give it that kind of dull a dull look and you can tell the white is not too white as it's not too white so yeah I kind of want to give it that dull color look, you know, kind of washed up. I'm just going to lock all my styles up for now. I don't really have, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't, not really, not really into, um, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, I just kind of choked up. I looked at my phone. That's kind of what happened. I'm, okay, I'm not going to look at my phone, but... I'm just gonna cool it down a bit. So I'm a lot. I'm locking up my style because I don't really. I'm not interested yet on changing how my guy looks. The way my guy looks, it doesn't really matter to me. For now, for now, I I kind of had an idea how I wanted to look. By the time you know I can collect all the pieces of styles and stuff like that, I think I'm gonna turn down. I'm gonna turn down the in-game volume a bit. Uh, I think it's probably too loud or something. Hold on. Uh, audio right. Turn it down just a bit. Just so it doesn't go over my voice or whatever. And my headphones is really loud, so I'm not sure if the recording is going to be just as loud or not as loud. But I don't know. Alright, let's go. Oh, I, got, I, I forgot I do have my powers. I can activate it. My first power. So... I want my guy to come kind of be like a the look and the feel of it the mood of the character to be like a weird you know maniac 
a quiet maniac, but at the same time is a badass. You know, like if you guys know who the Mantis is in fucking uh in fuck what's that game called? Metal Gear Solid, yeah. Metal Gear Solid. There's that the Mantis there's, it's a character from there. I'm I'm kind of inspired from that by by that because he can do like telekinesis and shit like that. But I'm not gonna be entirely copying the style, you know, just kind of the idea. So don't think I contradicted myself by saying what I said earlier about copying other characters. No, I'm not replicating that character. I'm not gonna be a replica bite off, you know, a washed up clone or wannabe. <laughs> Not my intentions. My intentions were good. Without ever mentioning it. It was just out of respect. Damn, anybody know? Anybody? If you, if you know where I got it, the quote I just got to sing. It's from a song. You know it? If you know it, leave it on the comments below. <laughs> I'll see if anybody is a fan of that artist. You know? It'd be crazy. Just a little something about me. Ah. Uh. Yeah, so I'm trying my my best and my fastest to go through this fucking Brainiac ship because I've done this a million times. I don't know, but there's always something about starting a new character and doing this over and over. <sighs> and getting out and getting out the Brainiac ship, and I'm like, damn, I don't, I don't, I'm not really feeling this character. <laughs> I'm not really feeling this character. So if you are new to the game, uh, Mento is one of the original powers, the first original powers <laughs> of the game. So, and so since, I don't know, it, Mento wasn't my first power that I ever played when I got into the game. And I never really played Mento like that. I mean, I played it, but I never played it like that. So it's still something new, not entirely new, but it's still kind of something new. I'm just, you know, I'm still kind of tripping out. Like, I've been playing the game for so long, and this is the only power that I never really touched. But it's straight, though. You know, it's all straight. It's good. So this part is probably going to be, like, really, really, like, boring. Because I'm literally going to just combo to get the 100, um, 100 combo feet where you perform 100 combos you get like feet points from it for them skill points you know i think wasn't as I, I swear i'm supposed to get one at 25 or oh, i think i probably got it already all right <clears throat> Hopefully this this is actually going pretty quick. Usually it takes a little I don't know, I think it's just rifle because it's a little faster. Usually it's a little it seems slower. Look, I'm already almost at a hundred. That's pretty crazy. Alright. I'm at a hundred. Pretty cool. Alright, so we got that out of the way. No one ever gotta worry about that anymore. Alright. So yeah, that's all you gotta do to pop all that feet. And it shouldn't be too hard. So I'm not just I'm not just making this walkthrough for anybody who wants to watch you for entertainment. Like let's say you're you've been playing, you know a lot about the game already. And this is just for entertainment. I'm playing this for, you know, kinda letting new people and not really knowing what the hell they're doing. Kinda have them give them an idea of what the game is about so i'm gonna be saying a lot of general things and you know like basic shit and you're probably gonna be annoyed because a lot of you veterans know this shit already but i'm aiming all kind of crowd you know just so just chill out you know just just hold back a bit you know just hold back a bit i know sometimes this you guys just want to watch it as entertainment but yeah i don't want to be making fucking separate videos explaining myself what the hell but whatever the case may be yep so i was talking about feats earlier about doing the combos so feats is basically like i'm pretty if you know the meaning it's it, it's similar to like achieving getting an achievement 
and you get so let's say depending what kind of achievement it is some achievements or feats is one star some are two stars and some are three stars so the one star feats feats they give you 10 feet points and then the two star give you the two star feats give you 25 feet points and the three star feats give you 50 feet points so there's a uh, bar for feet points and the max of that bar is 100 feet points that the bar has you know it's like an xp bar and uh, it's maxed out at 100 feet points and every time you fill up that bar with feet points you know let's say you did two feats that were 50 feet points three star feats and then you will get a skill point and you you know you sp you put those skill points and you spec them out into your skill trees and the importance of skill points is that you know every skill points you have gives you innates and they can uh like improve your characters the amount of damage he has the de amount of defense how, how much the character can heal and stuff like that you know general stuff and uh, yeah so you want to definitely be collecting fee points doing your feats and you know getting those skill points making your character the best as it can be so do not skip out take your time through the game i'm gonna be saying a lot I'm gonna be saying that a lot. Just take your time through the game and not rush into it. You know, you know what I mean. You know what I mean. So, for some reason, when you are uh, here, I have something that I do all the time on this part. I've taught on that yet. So, I got these shorties. Don't wait. Don't even waste your time finding these guys. Cause they're just gonna keep spawning out spawning until you destroy those couplings and after you destroy those then they despawn and you gotta fight the guardian defeat the guardian so let's fight the shit ah okay rifle come on do more damage is that come on now Y'all can't really keep with it. I'm just gonna spam out the same combo. It don't matter, right? Do does it matter? I hide and fly. Usually that black ass makes you fly, so usually I block. But I'm guessing since I'm in the middle of a combo, it don't really, it doesn't really matter to me. It shouldn't matter. <laughs> but yeah, you have doomed yourself. Clear the locks on to one of the ship's teleporters. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Okay, so usually on this part, I just jump up here. I come up here. I climb up here and I just chill. Because for some reason, it seems like when you're fighting, you're just sitting down there fighting. You know, time, I don't know, time is really slow. It's like they just keep coming out and you just keep killing 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 and when i'm sitting up here it feels like it's going it goes by really quick and by the time you know what it, 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 all the enemies are gone and you can go talk to lex luther and move on to the next thing so i don't recommend jumping down there fighting i mean they don't do a lot of damage to you but you know if you want to save some energy from your thumbs you know rest your thumbs <laughs> i don't know who can get tired who can get tired thumbs from you know but video games is not that hard but I, I don't I don't know it just goes by faster so it doesn't waste as much time and yeah so we're just gonna chill here and chillax chillax CC7 CC77 yeah Okay, so I had to create. I'm sorry, I had to create a new. Uh, see, it's done already. Wow, before I even knew it. So I had to create a new chat 
called C C C 